While you were studying fair value gaps, market structure shifts, and what ICT meant this week, simple mirror version strategies were quietly printing money on the S&P 500 year after year for the past six years. No order blocks, no smart money concepts, just a simple idea. When the price pull back too far, you buy the dip systematically. Today I am showing you three entries that do exactly that. One is so simple that you'll think I am joking, and the other one probably you used it before but you dismissed it for some reason. And the third one shouldn't work for mere reversion but somehow it does. Here is what I see all the time. Traders learn about mere reversion, they check it and it works on the S&P 500 index, they try to build strategies and they get stuck. What entry do I use now? So most likely they default to the RSI 2 if you are a regular viewer of this channel because I featured this indicator probably in 50 plus videos. But once you build a strategy, now you want another strategy and you cannot just use the same indicator again and again with the same values because now you're just copying that strategy and basically getting a correlated number of strategies. So you're not getting a different equity curve, you're not getting a different characteristics, you are not getting lower correlations. So what you do, you Google new indicators and you try to mix them together to come up with a new idea to test on mere reversion. And this is where people lose a lot of time, days, weeks probably, trying to figure out what to do next with this style of strategy. Not because the concept is so hard to understand or implement, but because they don't have a menu of options to start from. A strategy is like a puzzle. You need an entry match with the market edge, that's the market characteristics, and then you need an exit and a strategy filter. When all these pieces click together, they fit, now it's a lot easier to build a robust strategy than just doing it randomly. So using this analogy, if you start with market edge, which is what I teach in my algo trading masterclass, the S&P 500 works really well with long mere reversion strategies. So now if I match an entry to that style, it becomes a lot easier to build a robust strategy regardless of the exit and the strategy filter. I mean, it's not regardless, but it's a lot easier to find a robust strategy by just starting with these two pieces of the puzzle. So the market edge and entry is the first piece of the puzzle. You get that right, everything else becomes a lot easier. And today I'm going to show you three type of entries that works really well with mean reversion. This is a book I wrote about mean reversion entries. It describes the mean reversion concept and it goes into detail of all the entries. So the first entry I will show you is number 12 in this book, which is the consecutive lower closes. It's extremely simple. You don't need an indicator for it. You just count the number of closes lower than the previous close. And you can do one, two, three, five, ten. 10. It's up to you and how many patterns you want to find. Basically, we just count how many closes. So it's very simple. When we have, let's say, three closes down in a row, we enter and then we exit after a fixed number of bars. In this case, I'm using four bars. Here is the strategy applied to the S&P 500 futures daily time frame. I'm using three lower closes. So for example, if we take this one, remember it's not lower low, it's lower close. So this is the first close lower than this one. That's one, another one, two, another one, three. We enter next day at the open. Then we exit after four bars. So this is bar one, two, three, four. We exit the next day. Here is another one. Lower close, lower close, lower close. That's three. We enter next day. And one, two, three, four. We exit. Here is another one. This close is lower than this. And this is an up bar. But the close is lower than this one. So that's two. This is lower close. That's three. We enter next day. So you see, you don't need an indicator for this pattern. You can easily watch any chart and implement it. This is the strategy performance since 2007. 213 trades, 62% win rate, and $647 on average. It's a great average trade for the S&P 500. 
the strategy makes $137,000, three to one return to drawdown ratio. And this is the equity curve. Remember, we are not testing a strategy here. We are just testing an entry. But by matching the entry with the market edge, it becomes really easy now to find a profitable strategy. So even though this strategy is profitable, it is not finished strategy. This is a fixed exit of four bars and there is no filter. The next entry I will show you is the stochastic oscillator. Now probably you already use this indicator and maybe you didn't get good results with it or you dismiss it because it's so simple. But really the simplification of the indicator doesn't mean anything. It is matching it with the right style, right market that produce good results. And here are the results of the stochastic indicator. So we get 140 trades with $864 on average. The strategy makes $120,000, 4 to 1 return to drawdown ratio. And this is the equity curve, a better equity curve. Again, this is not optimized. There is no strategy filter. It's a fixed exit. The idea is just to give you a different entry to generate a different equity curve. And you notice how the equity curve is totally different than the previous entry. Even though they are both mere version, they are both on the same market, they are both using four bars as exit. And here is the third entry that I will show you that probably you think it shouldn't work because it's a momentum indicator. It's the rate of change. But that's the beauty of algo trading is it doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what everybody says. You test your code on your data and you found out the truth. So there is no ambiguity. It's the numbers. It's in front of you on the screen. It tells you the real story. And with rate of change, we get 311 trades, $661 on average with 60% win rate. The strategy is making $205,000 and three to one return to drawdown ratio. And again, we see a different equity curve. So you've seen three entries today. One uses no indicator, one uses a familiar indicator, and one uses momentum, which is basically works for breakout rather than mere reversion. But if you reframe it the right way, then it also works for mere reversion. Three different styles that produce three different equity curves. And that is the point of this. It is not about the best entry. It is about diversifying your equity curves. So when you have a library of entries, not just RSI2, you can build multiple strategies with different characteristics. Strategies that complement each other in a portfolio. Strategies that work together to give you a better equity curve, a smoother equity curve. The book I wrote is all about mere version entries. It includes 40 entries, 80 page book plus it comes with the full code you don't need to do anything everything is coded in easy language and power language and of course it can easily be transferred into other languages using ai all 40 entries are organized into eight categories so you can easily pick and choose from each category to get a different equity curve also all entries has its own inputs to optimize to your heart content there is also stop loss and profit target in the code I am sure you will find many styles that you haven't tested before. If you want to grab the book and the code, links in the description below. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to watch the next one.